welcome to church. church. Okay. We have got a great episode for you today where we think about where God is wherever we are, even in this beautiful snowy world. God is here. Yep. It's so cool because we're going to see that even in the time when they thought, when God's people thought, there's no way God can be here. He was so there and like there in a like crazy, amazing way. Amazing, amazing way. We've got an activity for you later in which you're going to need some circle pieces of card or just pieces of card that we can cut into circles and some uh, sticks like pencils or cocktail sticks or something like that. Some sellotape, some pens and some scissors. Yes. But right now, we're going to go into a song that talks about how God is here. Woo! So God's people taken into Babylon. And I saw an incredible thing. Just a normal day sitting by the river. And this is what I see. This is incredible. We're gonna to have to go take a closer look at this. It was like a windstorm coming out of the north, a massive cloud with flashes of lightning and fire. And in the middle of it were these four living creatures. Like they looked kind of like humans, but with four wings and four heads with straight legs made of bronze. 
It was crazy. And like each of them had their four faces. One of them was a human face. One of them was a lion face. One of them was an eagle face. And one of them was the face of an ox. And their wings, their wings were like, two of their wings were covering themselves and two of their wings were stretching out um, to touch each other. And there were these like weird, like wheels, like glowing like gemstones and covered in eyes, like a wheel within a wheel that could go in all different directions. And above them, there was this amazing vault, uh, a vault made of awesome, like crystal and rainbows. And on top of that vault, above the vault, above everything, was a lapis lazuli throne, a blue throne, a giant throne. And on that throne, an amazing figure, uh, something like a human, but made of fire and light and rainbows. This was the appearance of the likeness of the glory of the Lord. And when Ezekiel saw it, he fell face down. amazing vision that was wasn't it like that was so cool what Ezekiel saw and and it, it genuinely like it was pretty mind-blowing to try and build in Minecraft um, and I'll do a video at some point on how I built it but um, oh man I just thought it was amazing but like it's it's a bit out there isn't it, it like it's a bit whoa really, like how do we learn something from this that we can like take into our lives right now it is pretty crazy. But actually, one of the things that you want to start by thinking about is where Ezekiel was. Because Ezekiel was in exile. He'd been taken into this new country of Babylon. And the thing that makes it really hard for the Israelites is the fact that God said that his presence was going to be with the Israelites in Jerusalem, in the temple. And so when the Israelites, when these God's people had been taken away from Israel, away from Jerusalem, away from the temple, they thought that God wasn't with them. They thought that God stayed there. And so what this vision shows is that God isn't only in the temple in Jerusalem left behind, but he's with them where they are. That's so cool. And it makes me think that like that must be why they had like the wheels that could go in four directions and their angels um, that had like faces four different ways. Because it's like saying, it doesn't matter which direction you go, whether you go north or south or east or west, like God can go anywhere. God is everywhere and his messengers, uh, these amazing like crazy living creatures can go anywhere as well um, in any direction. I just think that's like a really cool part of the vision. Or I'm like, imagine a compass and they're just going all different directions. And the cool thing is, it's not just saying that God is in those places, but he's kind of hidden away and secret and no one really knows he's there. The vision was showing that God was ruling over everything on a big throne on top of everything. So God is there. He's ruling over those situations we find ourselves in or those places that we didn't expect to go to or the lockdown or the difficult situations at school. He is over, ruling over everything. He can see it and he knows it and he is in charge. Yeah, so like, and that's so cool because I feel like God could have just said to Ezekiel, hey, Ezekiel, did you know I'm still here and I'm still in charge? But instead of saying that, instead of just saying it in words, he showed Ezekiel this amazing picture that just met, like blew Ezekiel's mind. And Ezekiel was like, I totally know this now because I've seen it. It's so cool. Hi, my name is Sophia. I live in Brazil and God is here too. For our activity today, we're going to be using the idea that God is here, wherever here is. God is here. And so we're going to make 
one of these. I don't know if there's an official name for it, but um, on one side, it's got a picture of the world and the other side, it says God is here. And now if you look very carefully, um, you can spin it round. And because it's the thing is on both sides, it looks like the words God is here. Hopefully it looks like this. It does to me. Uh, the words God is here looks like it is over the top of the map. It's really fun to make. So uh, that's what we're going to do today. So um, really simple. You need a piece of card. Um, if you can have a card, piece of card with uh, that's corrugated, that's got like two two bits, makes it easier. But if not, that's fine. Um, I'm going to uh, draw around my uh, sellotape to get a good circle. And then... And then cut it out. It works best if you've got a piece of cardboard that has nothing on the other side. If you don't have one of those, you can just stick them together. So cut that out. Um, and then on one side of my piece of card, I'm going to do the God is here bit. So there we go. God is here, written on one side, and then on the other side, I'm going to draw the world. A cocktail stick and um, cardboard that has a gap in between it you can just poke this up straight into the cardboard like that or uh, if that doesn't work you can just take a pencil or any kind of stick and then sellotape it onto it a pencil gives a bit more grip for small fingers so that might be useful um, and there you go God is here where well everywhere the places that we're expecting to be and the places that we're not expecting to be wherever we are God is here. So let's see if this works. God is here. Here. God is here. God is here. <laughs> there we go. So um, do let us know if you make one of these and uh, you want to send a picture of it to us. Um, you don't have to draw the world. Maybe you could draw your house or a country that's really important to you or a different place, your school, something like that. Or you could draw your house because I don't think any of us expected to be spending quite as much time in our houses as we are doing at the moment. But the amazing thing to remember is that wherever we are, God is here. Hello, my name is Jura and I live in Brazil and God is here too. I wonder if there's anything that God's saying to us at the moment, to you. And maybe God wants to show us pictures of what he's trying to say. Sometimes it's easier to understand a picture than it is some words. Let's spend some time now just uh, maybe closing our eyes and seeing if there's a picture that God wants to put into our minds um, to help us to realise who he is uh, and how amazing he is uh, and the fact that he is here with us. So we're just going to put a bit of music on quietly and we're going to sit and close our eyes and see what God might be about to show us. And we'd love it if you did it too. Shall we start by praying? God, thank you that you showed Ezekiel this amazing picture, which had so much to teach him. Please will you speak to us now in pictures that help us to understand who you are and what you want to say to us. I'm so glad you're here. I'm so
you that no matter whether we saw an amazing vision or not, you are with us. You have promised you will always be with us wherever we go, whatever we face. So we just want to thank you for that today, God. Amen. Amen. And if you did see something, do like draw it or write it down or tell someone about it uh, because that's really amazing. And if you want to tell us, we would love to hear about it. We thought we'd leave you with a final song uh, called Never Walk Away to get you up and dancing again, uh, keeping warm in this cold weather. So let's sing and dance together. And we'll see you next week. Bye. I'm gonna keep my head